Tourism is reopened, and now the focus turns to reopening our public schools. Yeah, that's right. In a matter of weeks, many of them will be beginning to bring students back to campus. And ahead of that, the Department of Health releasing some new guidelines to help schools move forward. Kimberly Speakman with more tonight in our top story. The health department's new model takes a look at the number of COVID-19 cases in the community and positivity rate to help decide whether schools should consider letting kids back in class. There are five different tiers in the new system. The first step toward returning to the classroom has elementary school students attending in-person classes first. The thresholds are there as a framework so that schools who are not sure, you know, how to think about where to go next and their learning models have a framework they can follow and a roadmap to follow. But COVID-19 cases are just one factor. Another is how the school enforces mask wearing policies, grouping students and cleaning and sanitation. The health department is recommending a minimum of two weeks to transition to a new tier. It says this will help teachers and parents prepare. And that conversation was really about how much time the schools felt they needed in order to be ready for a transition in learning models. It does take a lot of planning and um, energy on the part of the schools to transition from one model to another. The State Department of Education says right now there are no changes to plans for the second quarter and it's still reviewing the health department's new guidelines. The teachers union says the updated guidelines are a good step forward, but they'd like to see more oversight. There needs to be some sort of verification that the mitigation uh, factors are being met. Okay? That has to be, before we open up any school, we should just make sure that there's enough cleaning supplies that things are being met. Number two, we support the CDC metrics that at laid down a more stringent policy for when schools should be closed. Dr. Campbell says the new model parameters are a recommendation for schools, but ultimately they each must make their own decisions. We'll have more on our website, kchuan2.com. Kimberly Speakman, KHUN2 News, working for Hawaii.